Moses went into Pharaoh, Pharaoh several times and Pharaoh wouldn't relent. The Lord visited plagues upon Egypt and still Pharaoh would not relent. He kept the people held in bondage and then God told Moses, tell the people that they have to slay a lamb or goat and then take that blood and they put it on the doorposts and the lintels of their houses. The blood of the lamb that will protect your house when the destroying angel passes over and so it happened on that night of the Passover the destroying angel did pass over the land of Egypt and every firstborn man and beast alike was struck down but the houses of the people of God they were protected by the blood of the lamb the blood of the lamb our protection our hope our peace, our joy is through immersed in the blood of the Lamb. This Holy Thursday, this night of nights, this night when Jesus gathered his beloved around him is a night to be remembered. This Holy Thursday we should enter more deeply into that reality, that Paschal mystery, the day we were baptized we were baptized into Christ, baptized into that mystery of the passion, death, and resurrection of the Lord. This is your identity. This is my identity. And if you know that, you have no need to suffer an identity crisis. For the last many years, we've heard that term. Our priests, our religious, our married and single lay people, we suffer. I don't know who I am anymore. Is my vocation relevant? Priests left by the thousands, religious walked out on their vows by the thousands, divorce rampant in the land and the divorce rate among Catholics is hardly any different than the divorce rate among the rest of the neo-pagan world. Why? We don't know who we are. We have an identity crisis, we have a problem with commitment, we have a problem with sacrifice, we have a problem with the cross. We have a problem living out our baptism. But this is the day to enter more deeply into that baptism. And that means to enter more deeply into Jesus, to enter more deeply into this Paschal mystery. We are at war. We are at war. Like it or not, believe it or not, we are at war, and as St. Paul says, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, a spiritual warfare. It's violent. The casualties are many. It is a frightful battle. In the end, you and I will end up one of two ways, and let's get it straight. You're going to either be a winner or a loser, and so am I. And this is the ultimate battle. There is no failure in a human life other than to fail to achieve supernatural life. That's the only real failure. Oh, you may fail in business. You may have failures in your family. You may have failures in a thousand and one things. But the only definitive failure is eternal damnation, as the Holy Father has taught. To fail, to enter into union with the Trinity, that's the bottom line. That is why we are on the face of the earth, to enter into union with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's where we end up in heaven. That's the beatific vision, to see God face to face. And there's only one way. There's only one way to enter into union with the Most Holy Trinity, and that is through, with, and in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way. It doesn't say there are many ways. Ultimately, absolutely, and objectively, there is one way, and that way isn't something. That way is somebody, and his name is Jesus Christ.